Hello and welcome to English Lover. I am Santosh and today we will discuss about important titles of English language like founders and fathers of English literature. Friends, this video will be beneficial for all kind of competitive examinations, especially for UGC NET and SET aspirants. It will be also beneficial for literature students. So let's start. The first with question is who is considered as a father of English language? who is also considered as a father of English literature and father of English poetry. The answer is Geoffrey Chaucer. Friends, here I would like to add something. If you ask this question to those who are not literature student, they will answer William Shakespeare. That is not correct. The correct answer is Geoffrey Chaucer. Some other titles given to Geoffrey Chaucer is the first national poet of England, the father of plagiarist, the well of English poetry, the morning star of Renaissance. So these other titles given to Geoffrey Chaucer. Who is considered as a Geoffrey Chaucer of Scotland? The answer is William Dunbar. Scotland is a state of England. And William Dunbar is considered as a Geoffrey Chaucer of Scotland. Who is the founder of Chaucer Society? Frederick James Farneville founded a society on the name of Chaucer in 1868. Who is the father of modern English? And who is the father of English drama? The answer is William Shakespeare. Guys, don't get confused with both of them. Like, who is father of English language and literature? The answer will be Geoffrey Chaucer. And who is the father of modern English and English drama? The answer will be William Shakespeare. Some other titles given to William Shakespeare is Exponent of Tragic Comedy, The Bard of Avon, Sweet Swam of Avon. So these additional three titles given to William Shakespeare. Who is called the Shakespeare of India? Kalidas. This is very important question. Kalidas is considered as a Shakespeare of India. Who is the founder of Shakespearean society? Richard Steele. And who is the father of new Shakespearean society? Frederick James Furnival. So here is differences between both of them. Founder of Shakespearean Society is Richard Steele and founder of New Shakespearean Society is Frederick James Furnival. Who is known as father of English prose King Alfred? So the answer is King Alfred is known as father of English prose. Who is the poet of nature? Who is the poet of childhood? William Wordsworth. So William Wordsworth is known as poet of nature and poet of childhood. Both, both titles given to William Wordsworth. Some other titles also given to William Wordsworth. That is the worshipper of nature, the high priest of nature, the founder of Lake School of Poetry, egotistical sublime. So this question will appear like who is known as worshipper of nature? The answer will be William Wordsworth. In the same way, other question will also appear. So let's go ahead. Who are known as father of romanticism? Answer is Samuel Taylor Coleridge and William Wordsworth. These both poet is known as father of romanticism. Who are considered late poets? Salier, sorry, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, William Wordsworth, and Robert Southey. So these all three poets consider as late poets. S.T. Coleridge, William Wordsworth, and Robert Southey. The poet of supernaturalism and opium eater, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, S.T. Coleridge. Its short name, Samuel Taylor Coleridge's short name is S.T. Coleridge. So, S.T. Coleridge is known as supernaturalism and opium eater. 
John Milton is considered as a great master of words and epic. Other titles given to John title, Lady of Christ College, Poet of the Devil's Party, Master of Grand Style, the Blind Poet of England. So these four additional titles given to John titles. Who is called Poet of Love? John Donne. Friends, John Donne has written many poems which is dedicated to love. That's the reason he is known as a poet of love. Who is the founder of metaphysical school of poetry? John Donne. So John Donne has founded met metaphysical school of poetry. Henry Fielding is considered as father of English novel. So this question will appear like who is considered or known as father of English novel? The answer will be Henry Fielding. Who is the father of English criticism? John Dryden. This is very important point. Lot of question is appearing in UGC net and other competitive examination related to English criticism. Even literary theory also. So John Dryden is considered as a father of English criticism. Other titles to John Dryden, he is considered as a prominent member of Royal Society. Who is known as the 20th century of Dryden? T.S. Eliot. Friends, we know T.S. Eliot is very important poet of 20th century and he is considered as John Dryden of 20th century. Who is known as the father of second English poets? Edmund Spencer. So Edmund Spencer is known as father of second English poets. Other titles to Edmund Spencer is the poet's poet by Charles Lamb. So Charles Lamb is called Edmund Spencer, the poets of poet, the child of Renaissance is titles given to Edmund Spencer, the bridge between Renaissance and Reformation. This title is also given to Edmund Spencer. So many poets consider Edmund Spencer as a bridge between Renaissance and Reformation. So go ahead. Who is known as national poet of Scotland? Robert Burns. Friends, Robert Burns is considered as a the national poet of Scotland. Other titles to Robert Burns, the bard of Ayrshire, Rabbi. Scott Robert Burns family name is Rabbi, the plowman poets. So question will appear like who is known as plowman poet? The answer will be Robert Burns. In the same way other question appears. Who is known as father of English essay? The answer is Francis Bacon. Other titles given to Francis Bacon is father of modern English prose, exponent of social essay. Who is considered as father of English drama? Christopher Marlowe. Other titles to Christopher Marlowe is father of English tragedy, morning star of English drama, and founder of Knight School of Drama. So these additional three titles given to Christopher Marlowe. Who is known as father of epic poetry? Homer. Who is also known as the blind poet Question. is Homer. Who is the first lexicographer of English? The answer is Dr. Samuel Johnson. Friends, lexicographer, uh, uh, we say the person who writes dictionary. So Dr. Samuel Johnson is the first person who writes dictionary in English. Uh, some other titles to Dr. Samuel Johnson is metaphysical word point. So metaphysical word point by Dr. Samuel Johnson. Founder of the club and father of English one act play. So these other titles given to Dr. Samuel Johnson's.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी सी हु इज नोन एज द रिवोल्यूशनरी पोइट द आंसर इज पी बी शेल्ली पी बी शेल्ली फुल नेम इज परसी बैशे शेल्ली अदर टाइटल्स गिवेन टू पी बी शेल्ली इज पोइट ऑफ होप एंड रीजेनरेशन फाउंडर ऑफ जर्नल इंट्रोड्यूसर ऑफ टर्जा रायमा सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हु इज द फाउंडर ऑफ शेल्ली सोसाइटी so friend i am ending this video here if you are interested for such video just comment me i'll make another video thank you so much for your valuable time god bless you all